The push-pull tool is the core of SketchUp. This tool pulls any flat shape into 3D. Simply click on the shape, move your mouse, and click again to finish. To be accurate with push-pull, start pulling in a direction, type in a distance, and hit the Enter key. Whenever you type in a distance, it will measure from the last location. Pulling the shape up and entering 5 feet for the distance gives exactly 5 feet. Pulling it up more and entering 5 feet again adds another 5 feet to the total height. Push-pull always works in a direction perpendicular to the surface and only works on surfaces, not edges. So when using the push-pull tool, try to click on the center of the surface you need to avoid picking the wrong surface. A nice feature of push-pull is that the tool will always remember the last distance you used, and double-clicking on the next surface will result in the exact same distance. This works great when you have multiple surfaces that all need the same push-pull distance. Another key feature of push-pull is the ability to cut away other geometry. Push a surface back until it meets another surface to cut an opening. The two important things to remember is that both surfaces must be parallel and need to be clear of additional edges. You can see this in these examples. These surfaces are all parallel and push-pull will cut away geometry as expected. These surfaces are not parallel, so no geometry is cut away. Finally, these surfaces are parallel, but push-pull doesn't cut away geometry, and looking at the back surfaces shows there are extra edges in the way. Erasing those edges allows the tool to work as expected. Push-pull will also infer to other geometry. Click once to start pulling a surface, then move the cursor away and hover over other geometry. This makes it very fast to line up different surfaces. Click once on the surface you want to pull, then click to finish on a different surface to line it up. Each time you pull on a surface, it extends the edges and surfaces but you can push-pull a copy of the surface instead by holding the control key or option key on a Mac.